Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. Today we're going to be talking about the Falcon Sweep and I do apologize for this setup. I went to the gym yesterday and pulled a muscle in my neck so I'm pretty much immobile but I thought I'd just sit on this chair and give you all the news I know about the UNSC Falcon Sweep because I've talked to Mega directly quite a bit about it. Um, I'm going to talk about the pros, the cons and everything in between what this means going forward and to be honest it's a lot of positives and uh, you know give me a little bit of time to explain myself but basically the Falcon Sweep sold really really well um, I'm gonna start by saying um, officially this is the official take on this the Falcon Sweep is sold out that was the drop um, and I know a lot of people may be a little frustrated about that because they waited a year to get the Falcon Sweep and then it sold out within a few hours and I do hear your frustrations, I really do. So I'm here to try and collate as much of your feedback as possible and get it straight to Mega and basically pitch a case for restocking this again. And I don't want to give any promises, but I think we can band together and make some real change here. So. Uh, for anyone that doesn't know, I'm the official brand ambassador for Mega now. Uh, going up till the end of the year, I'm like the official word on, on uh, you know, I'm the voice. I'm the way that you can directly get in contact with Mega. I'm the way that like we can really address both our concerns and our constructive feedback and build a better community together because I've always said, and I will always say, it's one of the greatest communities on earth. I have so much love for how much this has given me and there's so many exciting things still to come. The Falcon Sweep was an interesting one. Uh, for anyone that doesn't know, it's the, basically the best value set ever, right? It comes with all of Noble Team and a new kitted out Falcon for super articulation, and it's amazing. It came out last year and had a very botched release. We all know that, and it was scalped to high heaven. The record sale for Falcon Sweep was in August of this year. It sold for $711 on an auction, and that's a lot of bl spladoons, bladoons. That's a lot of cheddar cheese. Um, so here's the thing. We as a community said to Mega last year we were not happy with the stock of the Falcon Sweep. And Mega, to like, credit to them, okay, unlike any other, like, anything, any other company that I could, could ever name, they actually directly listened to us and said, you know what, yeah, we will restock this. And they put it on Mattel Creations. It went up um, two days ago. And uh, initially it sold out immediately, like within a few minutes. Um, Jan claimed on his Instagram that that was a glitch. And then we got more stock later on. Now, I personally thought that we would have stock for a long time. I thought that we'd have stock for as long as the 20th character pack had stock on Amazon, which was a long time. Now, there are some factors to take into consideration here. It did sell out, yeah. Um, I don't know the exact numbers on how much was on sale, but it's gonna be a lot. Now, it sold out within a few hours. This is about the fourth or fifth item that Mattel Creations has ever had on their website. The overwhelmingly positive news here is that if you're Mattel Creations and you have a tight inventory and Mega is trying to convince you to stock more of their stuff on your website, which I will mention is at retail, and offers worldwide shipping pretty much like very, very affordable prices, right? So if we're talking about distribution, the best way to get this set to the most people is through Mattel Creations or in some ways Amazon because they do do worldwide shipping. But Mattel Creations offering worldwide shipping is amazing. They've had a few items in the past. The Banished Phantom, um, they th like the, the, the original news with the Banished Phantom last year was that Mattel Creations was going to be the first drop and then Amazon ended up sort of jumping in and getting stock quicker than Mattel Creations, which I know a, a few fans that pre-ordered on Mattel Creations were frustrated about. Um, we also had the Pelican Inbound on Mattel Creations, that's now sold out, the Banished Phantom is now sold out, and we just got Floodgate Firefight and Elephant Sand Nest. The unfortunate thing is that Floodgate Firefight and Elephant Sand Nest also dropped on Amazon. So yes, you can, if you're, if you're uh, you know, particularly like in Europe or Australia, you can go and get Floodgate Firefight and the Elephant Sand Nest on Mattel Creations right now. It's a great place to get it but I think the problem is 
uh, a lot of people don't know about Mattel Creations. The word is not out there and they've not got a track record yet. Like Amazon is obviously so reliable and, well, I don't, I don't want to say reliable necessarily, but like it's, it's got a track record and we know it. We know, we know how to order from Amazon. So a lot of people don't know about Mattel Creations. So when they have a few items that let's say maybe aren't selling as well as they should, then maybe Mattel doesn't, or maybe Mattel isn't confident enough to stock enough Falcon sweeps. So the good news is we just proved categorically to Mattel Creations that they need to start stocking Halo because it sold out within a few hours. And there's a lot of reasons for that. There was a lot of hype on my end. There was a lot of hype on uh, different Twitter accounts like Mega Constructs News. I apologize if anyone does feel like I misled you on stock numbers. You know, I was only speculating based on previous drops. The Banished Phantom was on Mattel Creations for ages. The Multiplayer Mayhem was only meant to be a two week pre order window and it's still up. So, like, I thought that Falcon Sweep pretty rightfully so would still be up but what we had was an unprecedented hype it's such an iconic set it shows how dedicated people are to halo reach and you have this build up and unfortunately you have a lot of scalpers right ebay currently has 60 plus listings of the falcon sweep relisted already is that anyone's fault no i really don't think so mattel creations did at least have a two order limit though i i guess based on these ebay listings it looks like you could just maybe use a vpn or or just keep on resetting your browser to purchase more because people have been listing six or seven or eight on ebay so clearly they were able to get more than two but at least a two person, uh, like a two unit limit is still a good start. And I don't know the ins and outs. I don't know how to start combating that kind of thing. I really don't know how to stop scalping. That's, it's a really difficult thing. Um, another quick Mattel, was it on Mattel Creations? I mean, another quick drop was the Master Chief Collection SDCC exclusive that sold out almost immediately and was scalped. And here's the thing, we're never gonna be able to avoid scalping. Like, it, 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 it's part of this community, unfortunately. It's, it's part of any community. You see the prices of some, like, Star Wars Lego immediately after launch? Like, yeah, it, it, it's gonna be a problem anywhere. The difference is, we at least have driven the price down now, right? The Falcon was selling for a record high of 700. With this new drop, it's now selling for about 150. That's still not good, I know, but I'm trying to spin some positives here because I, 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 I really do feel for so much of this community that I've seen could not get this new drop. And that's why I'm here. So like, if you're frustrated, I get it, but see me through to the end of the video and I'm gonna talk about how you can directly Tell Mega that you need another restock. And I'm not coming with any promises either, but I'm going to do my absolute best to get your word to Mega directly. So, the Falcon Sweep sold out within a few hours. It, 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 it had to have been a lot, and this has to be a really good indication to Mattel Creations that Halo actually does still have this really core audience, because let's face it, Halo Infinite has had a rocky... 18 months, pretty much two years. I mean, Halo has had a rocky eight years since just after Halo 5 Guardians launched, the player numbers dropped off, and it's been bad since. But there is something telling about the fact that Mega has been able to hold the Halo license for 15 years, and they're still going, like, it, it's, it's amazing, right? How many IPs have been able to hold on to one license for 15 years? It's amazing. So, there's, the core audience for Halo Mega never leaves, but I think what Mattel Creations needed was a sign that this stuff still sells well. And we just proved that because the Falcon Sweep just sold out. The next step to me is maybe another Falcon Sweep drop. Maybe we start getting some extra drops. Maybe in the future we can convince Mega to repackage a full set of Alpha 9 and relist it on Mattel Creations. Maybe we can convince Mega to repackage Heroes 16, 17, and 18 into one box set and do it on Mattel Creations. This could be a starting ignition to a flame, right? Like, I've been saying for the last year or two, Mattel Creations is the way forward to fix or at least help with distribution, and we just 
we just lit the flame by selling this thing out within a few hours. And I have also seen hundreds of people delighted that they finally got hold of, Mattel, of, of the Falcon Sweep. And big shout out to any of the uh, mega or MCX creators out there that did help um, push the news forward. I saw a lot of people commenting on a lot of um, chats and forums and uh, apps saying, hey, it's back in stock, go get it. Um, so big shout out to whoever helped push um, the stock into the hands of the people and not the scalpers. If we get a drop like this again, I'm gonna go all out in having a live stream ready with the countdown for the order going live. I'm gonna have a lot of videos and a lot of posts and we're gonna time it out. And we're gonna make sure when that timer reaches zero, the whole community is ready to click buy, okay? Like we're not gonna let this slip away again if we get another opportunity. So what can you do right now? There are two things that you can do to help me in my quest to try and get even more Falcon Sweep stock. The first one is go to my Facebook group, the Mega Constructs Domain. If you join, it's linked down below in the description and the pinned comment. If you join my Facebook group, the Mega Constructs Domain, the pinned post at the top is a poll. And you can answer that poll with how many Falcon Sweeps you were able to obtain or whether you couldn't or whether you already had it. All of that data I'll be forwarded into Mega. I've already created a PDF with about a hundred of the best comments that I've found across Reddit, Discord, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, of all people expressing that they need the Falcon Sweep pre-order uh, back again. We need more stock. Now for me, like my challenge is, as a brand ambassador, I want to make sure that um, I, you'll get, you guys' voice is heard and we get more stock, if we can, no promises, but at the same time, I don't want to over advertise, right? I don't want to come to Mattel and say, we need another few thousand of these and then a few hundred sell. I need to know how many people actually need to get this realistically. So fill out the poll on my Facebook group, the Mega Constructs Domain. You can find it in the pinned comment or the description down below. And then leave a comment in this YouTube video expressing your history with the Falcon Sweep, what it means to you, whether or not you were able to get it, where, like how, many you would buy if you had the opportunity like any information you want to give give it down below you also have to make sure to fill this out honestly if you see this poll on my youtube don't fill it out somewhere else because then that's the same person answering multiple times and we don't have a clear set of data of how many people actually want this so only answer it on one of my social medias and the second thing or i guess this is the third thing you can do the other thing you can do is support mattel creations right mattel needs to see the we want this. Mattel needs to see that these drops sell out, right? Mattel needs to see that this is a good investment to stock Halo Mega. The only way we can push forward is if we don't support scalpers, we support Mattel creation. So if you couldn't get hold of the Falcon Sweep, go and buy the Floodgate Firefight or the Elephant Sand Nest on Mattel Creations, right? Go and show that we as a Halo community want this stuff. Go and pre-order the multiplayer mayhem. It's like, I obviously don't do that if you don't want to, but it's like the best way to do this is by showing that we are, we have the numbers that want to buy these things. And also what should be next? What else could be stocked on Mattel Creations? Thank you very much for tuning in guys. I'm gonna go because uh, my neck is absolutely wrecking me. I'm gonna go lie down, um, but I, I really wanted to get this information out today. Um, I really appreciate Mega for having an open line for me. Um, and this is not an official video on behalf of Mega, but after talking to them and being their brand ambassador, like I have a bit, a bit more information and I want to be able to collate all our, uh, like our information together, all your feedback, and get it to them so we can help improve distribution together. Because like, like, that's literally all I want. Like, all I'm here to do is serve this community and build a healthy, safe, sustainable community around the brand I love. And also, Halo may have been in the doghouse for a couple of years, maybe five or six years. Go play Halo Infinite right now. I'm telling you, and I don't want to be hyperbolic, and I've built myself up to saying this, but like the resurgence right now on Halo Infinite is insane. And I have never had as much fun on a Halo game that I am on Infinite right now. We have a full squad every night, and it's insane. And I, I played till 4 a.m. last night and wrecked my body even further. So like, it's, it's incredible. And Halo could have a huge resurgence. The TV show season two comes out next spring, or this spring, and it could be a big improvement or what fans want. It could convince retailers to restock more Halo Mega, and then who knows what's coming later in the year. Like, 
I got some good feelings about the future of this community. I, I've seen some things. I've seen some things, and I got a good feeling. I got, I'm excited about the future, and I'm really excited about Halo Infinite, and I'm really excited, to be honest, about the fact that the Falcon Sweep sold out. I know there are so many people that couldn't get it, and I feel your frustration, but seeing the bigger picture, having something sell out and convincing Mattel Creations that the, the Halo fan base is, is alive and well for these kind of things gets me excited for the future. I want those drop pods on Mattel Creations next. All right, this has been the Domizzle and the Hizzle. Thank you very much for tuning in. And as always, you stay awesome, you stay safe. Domain, signing off. <laughs>